Hey guys, Ryan Rose here, and today I want to talk to you about picking out the right horse for you. All the time I see people that have the perfect horse for themselves, and they are having so much fun with that horse, getting to try all the things they wanted to do. It gives them more energy and more ambition to keep working with their horse and having a good time. And then I see a lot of people that don't have the right horse, and at, at worst, it's a dangerous situation for them that they're, they're kind of risking their life as they're working with the horse. But even at that, it's, um, it's a challenging and it's a kind of a constant battle. Now, those are the two, the two ranges. People that have the perfect horse and people that have absolutely the wrong horse. And then there's a whole range in between of maybe the horse is a little bit challenging for them, but they have the determination and the desire to work through that and be, become the person that that horse needs them to be. And then on the other side of that, you have the people that have the wrong horse, and because it's the wrong horse, they don't go out to the barn. They don't go ride the horse. They don't pull them out. They just kind of feed them and watch them, and uh, they're not really getting their full enjoyment. And so what I want to encourage you to do is think about getting the right horse for you with what you want to do with the horse and how much time you want to put into this. See, this, this horse that I'm riding here, she's a pretty snorty horse. I ride her five or six days a week and uh, I keep her going, and when I do that, this mare can do anything I want from her. I can ride bridalists, I can play at Liberty, I can go work cattle, I can do all kinds of things. But if I let her sit for a while, I'm gonna have my hands full and I'm gonna have to do a lot of things correct to keep her safe and keep her ready for me. Um, but she would be a very challenging horse for a lot of people. Then we have other horses here that are really gentle and you can turn them out for a couple months and come back to them and you got the same horse. And uh, so I want you to ask yourself, how much time you, are you willing to put into this? How much time do you want to put into this? If you're going to be a horse owner, you have to learn how to be a horse trainer. You have to learn what it takes to get along with horses and how to be appropriate for them. You can't, it's not enough to just buy them, own them, buy the gear, and that's it. You have to put some time and effort into learning to become a horseman as you do this. Um, but then on the flip side, you could call somebody like me and put some training into the horse. But what I want you to know though, I can't change that horse's innate disposition. Where that horse is at on the scale of real easy to real difficult. And by real easy, that usually means the horse has more woe than go. They're very confident and they're not very spooky and things like that. And then on the more extreme scale, they typically have a lot of go or they're just not very quick to turn loose and let their guard down and relax in different situations. So a trainer can come in and teach a horse all kinds of cool things, but we're riding them every day. We, you know, we're riding five days a week, you know, and sometimes, sometimes for quite a long time. Sometimes we'll ride them twice a day. And so you gotta ask yourself, are you prepared to put that much time and work into a horse once they come home from the trainer to keep that horse going? So here's some thoughts for you guys. Um, again, if you're interested in knowing more about this, check out thehorsemansuniversity.com. We got all kinds of great videos there on how you can become a better horseman and uh, shoot me a message and let me know any questions you have, but get in touch with a local trainer and help them, have them help you pick out the right horse for you with how much time and effort you wanna put into, into it. So thanks for watching, hope this helps.